Hey, what's up everyone? Adam here with Probably Got This, and today I'm gonna go through 10 things that you should know before buying or jumping into the new and upcoming expansion, Blackwood for ESO. I hope from this video that if you're thinking about buying this expansion, you know exactly what you're getting, how much it is, new features coming with the expansion, and general things to know before stepping into the game, especially if you have been absent for some time. I do want to give a shout out real quick to all my patrons. Thank you for supporting me. If you'd like to become a patron, check out the link below for all the perks and everything you can see there. And you can always ask me questions on twitch.tv slash probably got this. We are live three days a week and you can come join our discord. All the links are below in the description. Also check out our website, probablygotthis.com. It's got a lot of great beginner content as well. But if you haven't picked up ESO in a long time or even in the last year, a lot has changed just since the last expansion. I want to give a quick brief summary of some huge changes that came last year before I jump into this just so you understand for the players that are coming back. We were introduced to Antiquities, which is like archaeology from the Greymoor expansion. This added mythic items into the game, which are One Piece items. These are very, very powerful, and these are pretty solid items that are fun to use in certain builds. We had one of the best quality of life updates since the game came out probably being the item set collection that came to the base game, not just for expansions, but to the base game with the Markarth update patch. This allows you to basically reconstruct any item from a set in the game that you have collected, meaning deconstructing it, researching it, or selling it to a merchant will collect it for you and you can just reconstruct it at other times so it doesn't bog your inventory. We also got a new solo arena as well. These are just a few of the things that have shaped ESO in the last year. We got a new trial, we got like, four new dungeons. So there's been a lot more stuff that's been added. Those are the big ticket items that were added in last year's expansion cycle. This year's expansion, Blackwood is not only bringing some great updates to the game, but the actual update 30 patch is going to bring some exciting things to just the base game as well. So whether you are a new or a returning player, the, these should help you get a solid, quick understanding of what to expect with ESO Blackwood and update 30. The first thing that you should know is what is the price of the expansion and what does each edition get you? So if you already have ESO, you can get the upgrade uh, edition and the upgrade is just gonna come with Blackwood along with a few other cosmetic items as well, like a Dramora Kenry outfit, Deadlands Wamasu pet, one Iron Astronaut Crate, Blackwood Treasure Maps, and Experience Scrolls. But this is $40, US dollars. It's different per uh, region. But this will just give you the Blackwood expansion. Remember, Greymore will go on to ESO Plus since now Blackwood is the new expansion. Now, if you're a brand new player and you just get the collection, which is $60, the collection comes with so much. It is such a great value for what you actually get. You're gonna get the base game, you're gonna get Morrowind, Somerset, Ellisware, Greymore, and Blackwood. So you're gonna get all the expansions and the base game for $60. This is one of the best bangs for your buck if you are a new player and you get those other cosmetic items as well. And then there's some collector's editions as well. I'm not gonna go into those, but those are the basic understandings of the price and what you get. The second thing you should know about is we are going to be spending time in the Deadlands this year, which means Oblivion portals are going to be spawning in the zone of Blackwood. This is a new public style event that allows players to teleport into the Deadlands and fight their way through Daedra to the center tower. There'll be a final boss at the end that will drop loot and have a chest, and you can obtain furnishings, leads for antiquities, and other zone items from doing portals. These portals are extremely fun. They, however, aren't too difficult, so don't expect some sort of veteran dungeon experience. They can be done pretty easily with two players, but again, they'll be a solid source of money, item set generation, and enjoyment. The third thing that you should know about ESO is it is releasing a new system called Companions. These are in other MMOs and games, but essentially what this is is your own personal NPC helper. I like to call it that at least. These Companions have a rapport system that can go up or go down based off the actions that you perform. Companions can be healers, tanks, or DPSs. Companions will have their own type of armor with their own type of traits, and that armor and items can be traded, but it can't be upgraded rarity-wise. They also are not meant to replace a player, but you can bring them into any content besides solo arenas and PvP. So if you have a friend and you want to try a two-man a dungeon, you can bring your companion along with you, and it would be maybe a fun time. When Blackwood launches, there will only be two companions available. And if you would like to know more about the companions, I have a beginner's guide on them in the description and it'll be on the website shortly. The fourth thing you should know about is with update 30 patch, which is for all players, by the way, we are getting a new system called the Seals of Endeavor. I believe this system is still scheduled to launch in early June, maybe mid June. They may have pushed it, but again, this could change. So just don't quote me on that. But what this system is, it is a daily and weekly quest system that they are going to give you a new currency that can, wait for it, 
be spent to obtain crown crate items. So yes, you can now get Apex and Radiant Apex mouse without buying crates. The system is absolutely a great step in the right direction, in my opinion, for ESO on that front. I know that crates are still there, but the fact that we can now earn these items instead of buying them is a great step up. Also, if you want a more in-depth guide on that, there is one in the description as well. Matter of fact, check out the description right now. We have multiple videos in there to help you out and make sure you hit that red button, the subscribe button, and heavy attack that bell icon because it will increase your DPS and ESO and you won't miss any content I release. The fifth thing that you should know about is console enhanced. This is an exciting update for the console community. There will be increased performance and all sorts of graphical and gameplay related improvements coming mid June. So what this is going to be able to do is gonna it's gonna allow um, ESO to run natively on the Xbox Series X and S and the PlayStation 5. So it will be able to tap into the power of those new systems. What you're gonna be able to get is 60 FPS, increased draw distance, unlock textures, updating anti-aliasing, improved reflections, improved ambient occlusion with screen space, global illumination, all types of stuff. There's even more stuff. I'll link the article on the web, from the website of Elder Scrolls. It is a great update for console and it's very exciting for console. The sixth thing that you should know about Blackwood is there will be a new 12-man trial launching with the expansion, which is a raid. This is Rock Grove, and this trial is something that I have not explored yet because I want it to be a surprise when I go through it, so I will not be showing any gameplay of this because I have not been inside of it. But I do know that it sounded fun from other players, and also the sets in this trial I have tested a little bit, and they are absolutely amazing. There is also a really awesome mount that you can earn from the trial by doing some of its hardest achievements. The seventh thing that you need that you should know about is there will not, I repeat, there will not be a new class with the Blackwood expansion. I can't speak for anything regarding later this year, but no new class is coming with Blackwood. A lot of players were thinking that there would be a monk class introduced. I personally would love to see a Dwemer engineer type class introduced into the game, and I think that would be something that would be really cool and fantastic. Also, again, I can't speak for later this year, but they could always introduce some something like wild later, but this is not confirmed. My biggest guess is the new class may be next year. Let me know down in the comments below what class you would like to see in the coming years. The eighth thing to know is there's not a new weapon coming as well with Blackwood. This is something, again, that ESO players were speculating could come with Blackwood, but so far, no signs of this are happening. I will say from the trailer they released, it did look like Conjuring may be a thing, but only time will tell with this. Also, something to keep in mind is usually ZeniMax will do their Q4 DLC as something like a mini expansion, either with a new zone or a new piece of big content. So I'm interested to see what they do this year because apparently Q4 is focused on the Deadlands. So maybe they will bring a new weapon or skill line into the game. But let me know again down in the comments what you think they will do with this. The ninth thing that you should know is there is a new tutorial. This will be something that is very helpful for newer players or even players returning. This is the Isle of Balfuria, and what this allows you to do is when you reach the end of it, which takes about 20 minutes, you will be able to pick which storyline you start out on. So you can go through any of the portals that you see, respectively, that you have the expansions for and so on. But you can do the Aldermane Dominion quest line by going through their portal. You can do the Ebonart Pact quest line by going through their portal, and you can go through the Direfall Covenant one going through their portal. And then again, any expansions that you own, you can go through those portals and it will put you in that expansion. So no more confusion when you get into the game there. This will allow players to pick their own story. And if you'd like a more in-depth discussion or guide on that, I have one down in the description below. The last thing of course is outfit stop pages will be able to be banked in ESO. This may not be crazy for any of you, but, and it may be minor, but for people that have played this game for some time, you will be very, very excited for this, I'm assuming. And I know you probably have a lot of pain with this because it just clogs your inventory but I'm so excited for that update as well in the game. That's the 10 things that I wanted to share with you that could help you get a better understanding of what to expect before you jump into Blackwood if you are a new player or a returning player for a long time. I hope this helped you out. If it did, again, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, heavy attack that bell icon. Again, you can always check us out on twitch.tv slash probably got this. You can come by the Discord as well for any new player help. We've got a great beginner community there. Check out all the links below in the description and just remember to have faith be great and I'll see you on ESO.